Hey, good morning. Happy Thursday, everyone. Kimberly here coming to you live from my car on this Thursday morning for our inspired thoughts because the timing is such that I am uh, taking my favorite guy, Tyler Michael, to a program at his school. Um, he doesn't have regular school today, but uh, the YMCA, the YMCA, has partnered with his school to create some programming and he's excited to go hang out there for a few hours. Are you excited, Tyler? Yes. <laughs> yes. He's decided that he's not sure if he's going to say hello or not, um, but he knows that he is welcome to. Happy Thursday, Jonathan. Um, I may not be able to see too much as far as comments go because I do want to keep us safe driving, but I didn't want to miss being on with you this morning because what I'm inspired to talk about is actually inspired by Tyler Michael, who is in the car with me right now for the next few minutes as we drive to his school. And um, it's just the idea of trying something new. And I think so often in our go, go, crazy, busy lives that we live, we fall into routine. And, and then I am big on routine. I find a great deal of comfort in routine. Uh, and even with all the you know the traveling I've done in my career and everything what I've, I've learned about myself is that like the moment I get to a new city the moment I get to a hotel room I'm immediately finding ways that I can create routine for myself so I completely understand the um, the comfort and um, well let's face it the control that that can feel really comforting uh, when it comes to kind of having that set routine but if we rely too much on solely having routine days, routine weeks, routine months, routine lives, then we might often miss out on some pretty amazing opportunities. And my son Tyler um, made an amazing decision a few weeks ago that he was very anxious about, you know, because he had a set routine. He is in kindergarten, he goes to school those five days a week. Um, there are the days that I get to pick him up and there are the days that our, our family friend Edith um, picks him up and is with him for a few hours until I finish working. And it's, it's, a, it's a routine that everyone was comfortable with. And um, you know, Edith's been in our lives since Tyler was two weeks old, so he's super comfortable with her. And uh, out of the blue, um, he asked if he could drop in to just one day of the new program that they were offering at a school through the YMCA and he was a bit nervous about doing it but um, was curious and because he was curious to see what it was all about we arranged for him I did all the paperwork and arranged for him to just go one day thinking if he likes it great he could go back if he wants to if not no big deal because we have our routine we're set and in that one day, he fell in love with it. And uh, pretty much every day, wouldn't you say every day, Tyler? Mm -hmm. Every day for the last three weeks, he has been asking to go to the YMCA. He's not only learned the YMCA song, um, but he's even created his own and um, has sung it for his teachers there at the YMCA. And um, he just went, you know, one day a week and, and this week he'll he'll be there at the program three days but what's amazing to me is that because he opened himself up to trying something new he found something he loves and something he really looks forward to doing and it's now become or is becoming a new part of our routine and you know we're kind of working out all the logistics of it and everything but um, routines can evolve and for the better. So my encouragement for you today is just to be curious. You know, what could you be curious about trying today? What could you be curious about finding more about, finding out more about today? Um, is there a new workout routine that you'd wanna try, a new class? Is there a new um, studio or space? Is there a new restaurant that you'd like to eat? A new um, uh, nail salon you want to try? I don't know. I, I'm probably thinking that because I probably need to get my nose beat. 
uh, my tails, my, my toenails, my nose, my Tyler, I just have my nose painted. <laughs> oh, and then I said my tail painted. I don't think I want to get my nose or my tail painted, but I think, I think I should, I think I should get my toe nails painted. Okay. So, um, <laughs> So anyway, my encouragement is just to, you know, seek out opportunities to let, let there be some fun thrown in. Not that your routine doesn't already include tons of fun. Ours certainly does, but there could be new opportunities to try things that you maybe wouldn't have otherwise thought of. So, you know, Tyler having this new, um, program, this new teacher, these new friends, new games he loves to play all being a part of his life a couple days a week now, all came from him being curious and then being willing to step out of his comfort zone to try something new. And it just it has been a, a really big lesson for me as a grown up and as his mama. Um, he is my greatest teacher continually. It just was a lesson and really not, not as much a lesson as, as a reminder that uh, there's a great big beautiful world out there lots to do lots to see lots of things to try and so we uh, Tyler and I together just want to encourage you to try something new I don't know try salsa dancing try yoga <laughs> try what is that funny you said try salsa dancing salsa dancing that's a kind of dancing I didn't know yeah <laughs> So you can get, go take dance lessons or go try a pottery class or I don't know. What are some other things people could try, Tyler? Taekwondo. Taekwondo, of course. Tyler says try Taekwondo. That's perfect. We love that. But, and soccer. Oh, and soccer. Tyler says you should definitely try soccer. So there you have it. So lots of opportunities out there. We are just about arriving at the unbelievable, fabulous journey school here in Aliso. So I will be jumping off in a few moments, but uh, anything else you want to tell people, Tyler? No, he says no. He's going to be shy from this point forward. He says no. <laughs> All right, now I'm safely pulling in. I can look at you and say, Thank you for jumping on, whether you are jumping on live or catching the, the comments, I mean the video later. In the comments, what I would love for you to do, should you be so bold, is uh, share with us what you're gonna try that's, that's new. What are you gonna try that is, that is different than what you typically do in your routine week? Um, you know, just close your eyes and brainstorm a bit or jump on Google. Um, jump on Groupon, see if there are any deals for something new. Um, so many different paths we have this day and age to, to seek out new opportunities for fun new things to do. So go find your new thing. Be curious and be willing to step outside your comfort zone. That is from Kimberly and also from Tyler. Say hey. <laughs> have a fabulous day. And until our paths cross again, I'm sending you much love.